Some of the most beautiful sights on the planet can be found on Canada's large, sparsely populated island of Cape Breton. The breathtaking view of the Atlantic Ocean is provided by the beautiful shoreline. Simultaneously, the pine fir and deciduous trees loom over the extensive low-growing bushes and flowers inland, which support a diverse array of flora. The many animals that call the island home arrive. Smaller animals such as foxes, lynx, and hares, as well as larger ones such as black bears and moose, roam the area. Taylor Mitchell, a 19-year-old folk singer, was, born beneath a small was mauled to death by coyotes on October 27, 2009, the first known fatal attack in Canada. What happened and why did the coyotes attack? Welcome to Wild Assault. Similar to a human cry when heard from a safe distance, this bothered the couple, so they dashed to a parking lot and dialed 911 from an emergency phone. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police were called around 3.15 p.m., and an ambulance was immediately dispatched to the scene. Meanwhile, the coyotes had tracked Taylor down through the access road. The creatures growled angrily, charging at her half-heartedly in an attempt to make her flee. This is typical predator behavior because running down a scared animal allows the hunters to bite the legs and back of the prey. Taylor was not perceived as human by the two coyotes. That day, they saw her as prey, finally succumbing to terror. Taylor retreated towards the trailhead, inadvertently dropping her belongings along the way as she screamed for help. Taylor pulled out a small pocket knife to defend herself against her attackers. The coyotes, on the other hand, were on the hunt. They pierced her, biting her legs and fingers as she swung desperately at them. Taylor was no match for a single coyote, let alone two. Taylor was pushed deep into the trail and to the top of a hill by the coyotes. Unfortunately, she tripped and fell, prompting the coyotes to charge full force at the ferocious beast, tearing at her clothes and biting her head and legs until she was severely injured. Her blood trailed behind her. She ran towards the trees, where she eventually collapsed from blood loss and injuries. Taylor was alone and defenseless, which the coyotes took advantage of. Meanwhile, a group of hikers saw Taylor's belongings and realized something was wrong. They hiked up the trail until they found her camera. So they began yelling, Albert, but it was in vain. As they approached the clearing's end, they noticed blood and extra clothing. They also noticed the blood-splattered bathroom door as they rounded the corner. Taylor and a lone coyote were standing over her. In an attempt to save Taylor, the hikers charged at the coyote. The creature, on the other hand, showed no fear and was even aggressive towards them. The hikers tried again, and the coyote finally ran away, but only a short distance. It stopped a few meters away, growling and yelling at the hikers. Taylor was conscious and communicated with her rescuers despite her critical condition. The bites on her head and legs were numerous, and the tethers on her flesh were bleeding profusely. Finally, a Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer arrived and fired a shotgun at the animal, effectively driving it away. The officer did not finish the animal because he initially thought Taylor had been attacked by a bear. Taylor was taken to the hospital right away. Taylor's injuries were too severe to be saved, despite the doctor's best efforts. She died of blood loss shortly after in an attempt to understand what had happened. There have been numerous theories as to why Taylor was attacked. Some speculate that Taylor inadvertently approached a coyote den, triggering the